How you been in the water for? Are you fine? You know your name. It's a call they hope they never get, but it's something the Kelowna Fire Department always has to be prepared for, which is why they constantly train each winter for an ice rescue. Uh, usually by the time we get here, they're too cold to grab onto anything, so reaching assist is out, or throwing assist is out, trying to have them self-rescue is out, so then we have to go, and that means they just go into the water, they go around from behind, they, they don't break or disturb the ice shelf that they're they're, uh, they're on, and then they go behind, hook a rope up onto them, and then they're hauled out with, uh, with uh, a couple other rescuers that are on the haul end of that rope. The training for the ice rescue took place in Lake Country near Pioneer Park and is conducted on what's called bad ice. It's clear, typically about an inch thick, and definitely not recommended to walk out on. Um, a lot of times people think that the ice, because they can't see through it, they can't see the water, that it's thick and it's safe and that's not true at all. That could be, that's your worst ice possible. So the ice that's covered, the with, ice snow. That's covered with snow and the ice that is opaque and you can't see through it. The Kelowna Fire Department has called out to at least one ice rescue a year and according to statistics, most rescues are for fishermen who have ventured out onto ice that is no longer safe. Jen Zielinski in Oyama for Castanet News.